Hi there, in this video I'm wanting to show you how to make this frilly, lacy little granny square. Um, I love it, it's very easy to make, really simple and you can whiz through them and make a whole bunch for whichever project you want to do. Um, I'm going to look at making a scarf with it, I might not use this yarn and then I'll just show you how you join them because we would join them, you wouldn't want to sew them on, you'd want to crochet them on. But um, I'll do that in another project. I just wanted to show you how to actually make this little square. And yeah, very easy. And you can do it in lace if you want, very thin thread. Or you can do it, this is in a, I'm using a size 5.5 hook. And it's a four, four ply yarn. I just used this loops and threads. And um, yeah, so that's how I'll show you how to make okay, it Okay, so you're going to start off, I'm starting off using white and I'm going to chain five chain. One, two, three, four, five. And then slip stitch into the first one and make a ring. So that's the very first thing that you do. Then you just tighten this a little bit. Now for the next round, you're going to chain one and then you're going to do 11 single crochets into this ring. So that's going to count as one because you ultimately want 12. So that's one. And now I'm going to do 11 in here. So you just find your round little circle in the middle. And you go in, bring a loop up and go through two. So that's now I've got two. And we need 12 all together. So go in your hole, bring up a loop and go through. So you're just going to do that. That's four, five, six. So do that all the way around until you have 12 single crochets in there. Okay, so you went all the way around and you should have 12 stitches in. Now, I brought you close because I want you to see these are the stitches that you would count. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then this one was the chain that I did that is sitting right over here and that's the one that you're going to go into so you've done it looks like I've only got 12 but this is my 12th one over here so you're going to go into this stitch there's the first one this is the chain that you did so you're going to go into this one with a slip stitch and now if you count you should have 12 one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So just make sure you have twelve. You need twelve of these little V's once you've done that slip stitch. Okay, so now you've got your slip stitch, you've done twelve. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do fifteen chain. Fourteen, fifteen chain, and then you slip stitch into the next stitch. I'm going to single crochet. So then you're going to single crochet into the next single crochet that you had made. So just do a single crochet there. And then you're going to just keep doing that. So once you've single crocheted in the next one, you just do 15 again. 1, 2, 3, 14, 15. So you do 15 and then you're going into the very next single crochet again with a single crochet. And you're going to do that all the way around. And you should end up with 12 of these 15 chain. So do that. So do another 15 single crochet in the next. 15 single crochet in the next. Do that all the way around and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I've done 15. This is going to be my last one. And you're going to go into your last single crochet and just do a single crochet. Okay, so yours should be looking like this. Lots of these. You should have 12 of these all together. Now what we're going to do, we, go, we need to get to the middle of this stitch here. So we're going to just slip stitch. Now you must slip stitch. You mustn't single crochet. You just slip stitch all the way to the middle. So just go in each one of these stitches here. Whoops. Just go in there, pull it through there and pull it through there. So you're just going to slip stitch through these until you get to the top. So I suppose that's about half, which is about seven, seven or eight of them. Once you've done that, you'll be in the middle. So just do that, slip stitch all the way, and I'll meet you back at the top. All right, so now I've got one more to go, but I want to change my color. So I'm going to take my new color, and I'm going to just hold it here. So I'm going to hold my new color in my right hand, 
and I'm going to do my last slip stitch but instead of coming through with the white you're going to take your black and you're going to slip stitch through this one. Now we've just changed our color. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do chain four. One, two, three, Now four. what you do is you're going to chain four and single crochet in your next loop. And it's going to bring these two together together a little bit. Alright, so you did your four chain single crochet in the next loop. Four chain. Now in this one you're going to do three double crochets together. So you wrap your yarn around, go into your next loop and just go through two. Yarn over the hook into your space and go through two. And then the last double crochet, yarn over. So you, you're pretending to do a double crochet but you only went through two. Okay, now you have your four stitches on and you go through all four of these. So you do that for your next one. So you did your one cluster, then you do four chain and you're doing another one in this same space. So you do another three double crochets in this space. So one, whoops, one, so you're just going through two, another one in the same space, just going through two, and another double crochet. Just going through two. Now you go, once you've got three, you go through all of these. Alright, so then you did your three doubles together, chain four, three doubles together. Now what I'm going to show you, you're going to keep doing. This you're going to repeat. So you do chain four, one, two, three, four. Single crochet in your next leaf, your next petal. Chain four, one, two, three, four. And single crochet in your next petal. So you did that twice. Now we've got to make another corner. So exactly what you did here, you're going to do with your next petal. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and a double crochet, three double crochets together. One, two, three, and then through all four loops. Then chain four, one, two, three, four, and the same thing, three double crochets together in the same space. And this is going to give you your corner. And that you're just going to keep repeating. So now it will be chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet in there, chain four, single crochet in there, chain four, two sets of double crochet together. So you're going to end up having it look like this. So you have your corner and then you have two with just single crochet corner. So do that all the way around and um, so now I've got to do the two chain four with a single crochet. Just single crochet in these that will be a corner. Single crochet in these two this will be a corner and there are my two single crochets there. So go all the way around and then you're just going to slip stitch in here but I'll meet you back. Okay, so I went all the way around. I finished with a uh, corner part here with your doubles in this one and then you're just going to slip stitch into the beginning of this stitch over here. So just slip stitch in there. Now we're going to slip stitch along to the center of this over here, this um, four chain. So you're just going to slip stitch across two of these. So slip stitch one, slip stitch two. And then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to cluster in the same spot. So this is going to be counted as your first one. So you're just going to do one, two, and then you've got your first cluster. So you slip stitched along to the center, you did three, which would count as your very first double crochet, and then you did those two. So now I've got one cluster over there. Then you're going to four chain and this you're going to repeat. One, two, three, four. Four chain and then you're going to do a single crochet in here. Then four chain, one, two, three, four. And do your, your same cluster over here like you did here. So you're going to do exactly the same thing. One, two, three, 
chain four, one, two, three, four, and in the same double in the same sp spot here. Yeah. One, two, same cluster in there. Okay, so you got one there, just a single crochet, and then this one over here. Then you're going to do four chain, one, two, three, four, one single in the next, four chain, one, two, three, four chain, and one cluster in the next. Four chain one two three four so it should be looking like this okay so you do your four you did the one cluster your four chain and then a single crochet in here and then one two three four and then your double in here so that's all that you're doing if you see you're doing your cluster right above your corner you're doing your double right above there then you do chain four, single crochet in the next loop, chain four, and just one cluster. Chain four, one single crochet, chain four, and then you do your cluster, your two clusters again. So that's all that you're going to repeat. So I'll do it with you one more time. So as I say, now we did our class our single crochet. So now we come to the corner and we're going to do a cluster, two clusters in here. One, Three double crochets through all of them one two three four and then another one in the same place so these are your corners where you do two of them that's your corner just so it turns your square around in four one two three four and now you can see I mean if you don't know what to do you can see there's your next corner so now I'm going to do a single crochet in this one Four, one, two, three, four, and then one cluster in this one. One, two, three, and then I've got chain four. One, two, three, four. So you did your one cluster, and I haven't got my corner yet, so it's one single crochet. And then you do your corner again. So that's pretty simple. Your corner, one single, one cluster, one single corner. So I do that all the way around and I will meet you back here. All right, I've come around and I've done my last corner there and then I'm going to chain four and single crochet into this last space. Sorry, chain three and then you'll chain three, one, two, three, and you're just going to slip stitch into the top of this chain that you had made. Slip stitch through that and that's it. Then you can take your work off. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's actually very pretty and you have your little square with your flower standing out let me put it on white so you can see it a bit better there you go so it's just this really pretty little granny square whichever kind of square you'd like to call it and very useful it's lacy I love it because it's lacy so anyway that's how you do that square and um, yeah I hope to see you in my next video and I hope that you've enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Thanks for joining me. Bye.